Okay, here's the uh, trial run for the Tessup Nightmare. Got the anterometer back in place. That's mounted. Got everything strapped, all the blades. Pretty much painted. I gotta get a little more paint on this, the uh, tower part. And then I've gotta paint the I-beams down there brown. I got some brown primer. So we're gonna go in here and I'm gonna show you the crank mechanism with the electric drill. So what I did right here, not so close. I raised, silver soldered actually, uh, silver welded the two nuts together, then silver soldered another one on top there, 19 mil. So now I can put a drive in there, and you can see the size of this tower where it's laying down. Take it that way, you'll see the amount. Thing. Show this right here. Ready? Okay, there you go with the electric drill. So, like I said, I did a uh, silver solder, two nuts, and then I put a larger one on there for 19 mil for the driver. Uh, a lot easier and quicker. That was less than two minutes to put the whole tower up. Now I'll have to just put my hardened bolts that I have there in place. And basically the tower is up and ready and i'll have to get my anerometer to see what kind of speeds we got on this real light winds today it's going to be only like three or four knots so actually ooh, look at the turbine actually twitching up there so we'll see what happens here in a little bit and then we'll post some results as we see the turbine spin a little bit of wind so definitely uh definitely see movement of the blades right now so that's good so when i get some steady wind here that thing should zoom around. So the guy uh, over in South Africa, Colin, shout out to him. He said definitely will spin now because he did the same thing. Uh, he used some nylon straps instead of aluminum and then uh, he extended the blades out. So we'll see how this whole thing works, man. And uh, hopefully you can generate some power for once. A Tessup. Never buy Tessup, whoever you are, wherever you are out in the world. Do not buy one of those Tessup generators or wind turbines. Go to InstaBreeze or wait on Harmony turbines in Pennsylvania. Harmony Turbines in Pennsylvania is making a self-furling uh, cylinder. So it basically has the cups that come out and they furl under high speed winds and then to protect itself and then open up again. So really good uh, advancement on a wind turbine for the vertical. So just keep an eye for Harmon wind turbines in Latrose, PA. And you can also go on start engine and invest in them if you want to uh, help them out, get keep going. All right, we'll call it quits for now.